Hey everyone, welcome back to Next Pitch Live. I know, I know, it's been a minute since I last posted. Let me explain real quick. So I was sick for a week and then out of town for another. And on top of that, our softball season just wrapped up. So between travel games and everything else, it's been pretty nonstop for me. But I'm finally back and feeling super good. And I've got a super useful tutorial for all my fellow streamers out there, especially if you're running baseball or softball games through Game Changer with Mevo Cameras. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to create custom lower third player card overlays using Mevo Multicam. And let me tell you, this is one of those small upgrades that can make your live streams look like they were done by a professional production crew. If you've ever seen sideline HD overlays with player photos and info, that's the inspiration here. But we're doing it on your terms using gear you already have and a feature that's built right into the Mevo Multicam app. Let's dive in. All right, let's start by launching the Mevo Multicam app on your iPad. Once you're in, you'll want to go down to the bottom left corner and tap the blue plus icon. That's where all the extra tools live. From there, hit graphics to bring up the overlay options. Now tap lower third. This is the template we're going to use for our player card. What I do is under the renamed graphic text, I put the first name of the player I'm making the overlay for. This is really just to help you stay organized with all the different overlays you'll have when you're done. I recommend using all caps for this. Now tap on the add your text spot on the right side. Here you can type the player's name. I add the first name, last name, and the player's number here. If you want a subheadline as well, you'll tap the format box on the left. Here you can get creative. I usually just include their position, but you can also drop in their age group or even a nickname if that's the vibe you want. Once that's filled in, tap the image icon to the left of the text. This lets you add a player photo. Ideally a headshot cropped to a square. You can import this directly from your camera roll, so if you've already got player photos on your iPad or from Team Picture Day, you're good to go. Now we customize it. Here's where you can really dial in the look and match to your team branding. Use the color tools to adjust the text to match your team style. Bold, clean, easy to read. For the background bar, I like going with the team's primary color and dropping the opacity to around 0.3. So it's there, but not distracting. Once you're happy with the design, you can hit the blue next icon at the top. That'll help you save it. And here's the tip, make one for each player ahead of time. That way during the game, all you have to do is tap the one you need as a player steps up to bat or takes a field. It's a great way to add polish without having to scramble midstream. Even better, you can have someone else controlling overlays from the iPad while you focus on commentary or camera angles. Here's a clip from a Lady Vixens game we streamed recently. Watch as the player steps into the batter's box and the lower third overlay slides in with her name, position, and photo. It's clean, it's sharp, and it immediately gives your stream that professional broadcast feel. The best part? No extra software, no complicated setup, this is all happening inside Mevo Multicam, and the stream is going straight to Game Changer Live. So there you have it, a simple, effective way to bring player intros and recognition into your live sports streams using Mevo. Whether you're streaming travel ball, rec league, or high school games, this small touch adds personality, professionalism, and engagement for parents, fans, or recruiters who are watching. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments what else you want to see. I've got more gear tips, Mevo tricks, and stream setup breakdowns on the way. Thanks again for your patience while I was getting healthy and wrapping up the season. I'm back now and I'm aiming to post more regularly. Appreciate you all, and as always, I'll catch you on the next pitch live.